see what you got here. This is a Sharps 1874 Buffalo rifle. OK, sounds dangerous. It is dangerous. It can't be any more dangerous than that shirt. This was a very powerful gun. I love it because of the historical connection to the West. I'm hoping to get 37,000. In a few years, I'm going to have to sell my entire collection. Might as well start now. This is cool. Where did you get it? I bought the rifle from a friend I knew in Wyoming. And he said, you're going to see something like this once in your life. It's for hunting buffalo. It's a 4490 caliber. Now, this was the most powerful caliber made in 1874. Yeah, it was a powerful enough bullet that 800 yards away, you could still bring down a buffalo. Yep. Buffalo hunting was a big business. This rifle would pack one hell of a punch and was the top choice for big game in North America. In 1874, this rifle took the Creedmoor record, hitting 19 out of 20 targets at 800 yards. Well, yeah, this is where the term sharpshooter came from, was it from a sharps rifle. Originally, the guys could shoot really far were sharps shooters because they shot with sharps. I didn't know that. It's definitely cool. It's in great shape. How much did you want to get out of it? I want 37000 for it. Whoa, this is a gun, not a car. <laughs> it's extremely rare. Quite honestly, it sounds a little high. Do you mind if I call someone and take a look at it? I just want to make sure everything is legit, and I'd like to get his opinion on the value. If he knows what he's doing, that'll probably help both of us. OK, let me go give him a call. I'll be right back. Thank you. I'm fine about them bringing in a person with knowledge. This rifle is in very good condition. Man, I'm a pretty good salesperson. It's the Model 1874. This is very accurate. Then you know what gave it that accuracy? Was the falling block mechanism. It's a technology that was special and unique to this gun. When you actually have a round in the chamber, the uh, breech goes up, seals the round in the chamber, and doesn't move around, and therefore it's very accurate. I mean, you shoot this gun, it goes off, it makes a big smoke powder, as you know. Yeah. It's going to knock down whatever it hits. Hey, you're a buffalo hunter. This is a gun you'd like to have. A 4490 is a big bullet. If you shoot a buffalo with a 4490, it's not going to hurt. It's going to kill him. The color back here is a little different than the color up front. But I don't think it matters that much because it's right around where you're manipulating it. So where your hand I can is. really see that that's from some yeah. honest hand wear. Is it all original? Um, it's definitely original. It's also a popular gun. I would think in the Sharps market, this is probably the most popular model. OK. So what do you think it's worth? Um, as it sits, given its condition, given its rarity, I'd probably place this gun maybe six to $10,000. Well, you know, I'm asking 37000 because when I take it out and I show it to my friends, we go on for a half hour talking about the Old West and shooting buffalo. So to me, all of that is more valuable. I know you love it. I just don't think you can sell the love. That's just my opinion based upon being a dealer in firearms. This guy talks about sitting around talking to his friends for hours on end about what guns like this did. That doesn't matter to collectors. They want to buy the gun because it's an 1874 Sharps. You don't need to add something to it unless you want $37,000, in which case you have to tell lots of stories. We seem to be very far apart at the moment. I would be willing to spend like six grand on the gun. What about stepping up to uh, like 15? No, I'd go six. That's what I paid for it years ago. Quite frankly, guns have stayed flat or gone down over the past few years. It's up to you, but I, I really can't pay more than six grand. I guess I'm going to get to shoot it some more. OK. Thank you. Have a good one. I'll just go back and shoot the gun some more. I've got a few years that my shoulder will hold up.